Welcome to Griffin's Gaming Guides. In this video, we're going to show you how you can acquire another Remnant 2 long gun, Deceit, which you can craft with Macabre over in Ward 13 once you've acquired the Imposter's Heart from Phelan, which is a world boss in the Somme in the Beatific Gallery. Now, you will need the Beatific Palace as your starting point, then head through the world collecting the Phelan mural piece from the ground floor of the Beatific Palace and the Phelan mural piece from the Malefic Palace, where you can then place both faces in the ground back at the Beatific Palace floor, allowing the large door at the back of the area to open, leading you through to a world boss of La Somme, Phelan. There's a complete guide down below the like button for how to find and take down Phelan. And once you've done so, you're then gonna acquire the Imposter's Heart. With that, you can go back to Ward 13 and craft the Deceit Long Gun with Macabre. Very, very, very good gun, this. Now the Deceit Long Gun is a very powerful gun which is akin to a sniper rifle. You need to hold down the attack button to charge up the attack where it will then after a couple of seconds release two kind of energy beams that go directly forward into a target hopefully providing you've got your aim sorted and it is an incredibly powerful weapon especially if you're good at aiming for the face. However, what makes this long gun outstanding is its modification called Ouroboros, which conjures three sword fragments that encircle the wielder for 30 seconds. Performing a melee attack lets loose a fragment which taints the blood of targets, causing all attacks from deceit to register as weak spot hits for a short period of time. A charged melee attack fires all remaining fragments at once. Now, it does take a fair amount of time to actually get this mod ability charged up, as it does have a requirement of 1,440. However, once you've got this thing sorted out and you've got those little swords circling around you, if you've got something like a special or a boss or a particularly tough enemy, make sure that you just encircle your swords around you just simply by tapping your modification button. Once you've done so, just hit an enemy with a melee attack where they will then take critical damage from every round that you send from Deceit as it will essentially turn their entire body into a critical point. Now this long gun really isn't to be underestimated. It's got a magazine of six and a base damage of 120, which doesn't sound all that impressive. But when you consider that every single time you hit an enemy with a melee attack after you've used your mod, it will then be dealing critical damage. This thing can absolutely rip through bosses, aberrations, specials, kind of any enemy that, want, that thinks they're bad enough to stand in front of you, pop this thing off, they'll be crying in the corner. I was a little bit dubious about this weapon until I actually went off and used it properly, kind of using it at the range over at Ward 13 for a couple of minutes. I thought, you know, whoop de do, it's just another little charged up rifle. Who cares? As soon as I went off and took down a couple of aberrations with this thing, it is incredible. I strongly recommend leveling this one up, providing you've got the resources to do so. I doubt very much if you're going to regret leveling up this seat. But anyway, that's where you can acquire the Deceit Long Gun in Remnant 2. I do hope that the guides helped you out. If it has, please do me a massive favour. Please take care of yourselves out there. Enjoy the rest of your week. And we do look forward to seeing you back here at Griffin's Gaming Guides.